Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am AC, this is AC Toy Design Galaxy, Galaxy Universe. I appreciate you tuning in my new video. Uh, today is a cool day. I've got this, I'm showcasing this uh, Hildegard, my custom Hildegard figure. Man, she is a beast. She, this is an awesome figure, it's so dynamic. I can't wait to talk about it. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look as always in just a minute. Check this out, got a new record, nine bucks, vintage, original. What? What? Yes, you were with me when I got it. Uh, so I got some oats. You guys, make sure you get your oats, man. Put that down. This is, this is awesome. This one has, uh, what's on this one? Private Eyes, I think is the big hit. Yeah, or Man Eater. Man Eater, I think. Make sure before I go any further, make sure that you uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video, comment in the comments below. I always answer them, I answer all the comments. Um, and uh, just, you know, go back and watch some old AC toy design videos. Believe it or not, I've been at this now for uh, like almost two, almost three years and my channel is not monetized uh, because I, I've only recently been steady and regular and consistent with the vid videos. So do me a favor and go back and watch some of my old ones. I think I'm like, 1500 hours away from, from being monetized. So that would be awesome, that would be a great help. Uh, go back and watch some old tutorials, uh, some, some custom figure showcases. Anyway, speaking of which, let's showcase this babe. Look at this, God. how awesome is that? A lot of fun making this one. Anyway, let's get a closer look, shall we? What? Did you hear that? All right, she's so big, she barely fits in the frame. I gotta go like this, up and down, up and down. Anyway, I got my trusty, uh, what you call your silicone pointer so I can touch without, I didn't mean to, <laughs> without damaging the figure. Um, all right, so she is very basic as far as her kit bash. She's a Thor figure. I think it's like the Thunderstrike or something like that. Thor figure head to toe, uh, her, her neck to toe. Her head is a Valkyrie head. Okay, you can see uh, where the Valkyrie was in there. Um, and the only thing, as usual, I started with the uh, joint prep, and there was very little joint prep to do, a little bit on her knees, because I was painting the dark navy blue brown, uh, but it was gonna be dark regardless. And the rest of it was just sculpted details. So I sculpted the chest, neck, the uh, armbands, these leg straps here on the upper leg. Uh, what else, what else, what else? The head. So I sculpted the entire hat and uh, the back of her hair coming out of the hat so that it flowed with what was already presented in the Valkyrie figure with her, her braids. Um, other than that, I think that was all the sculpt, oh, her, her uh, belt insignia thing there. And yeah, that's it. A little bit of sculpting on her hammer. Set her down real quick. Just a tiny bit. I had some holes to cover up. And then this bit down here connecting the, the um, wood to the base. This was a green lantern. Green lantern lantern. That I gave some carved detail damage to and then dry brushed the whole thing with different layers of blacks, grays, and then silvers over top. The handle is actually really cool. I used my, whoops, sorry, I just knocked my camera. I used my linoleum cutter, if you guys remember these from grade school, I love these things, um, to carve the wood and give it actual grain that you can hopefully see there. And then I painted the whole thing black and then dry brushed brown, different shades of brown over the top of it to give it more of a wood, actual wood feel. Her sword was a Masters of the Universe Classics uh, Count Marzo sword, I believe, that I kind of modified, slimmed it down, made it simpler, took the top off, uh, sharpened it to an edge, dry brushed it with some silver instead of it used to be red. So that's her sword. Um, and then, like I said, sculpted detail, paint. Now the trick to this whole figure, the 
trickiest part was the cloth goods, the soft stuff. This stuff was white. It actually looked, I don't have the, the raw stuff, but it was white. And here's a bunch of, as I knock everything over, here's a bunch of pieces that I cut off. It was, it was stark white, like almost like this guy, it was like, like Chad Baby here. And the first time I dyed it, I didn't use synthetic. I used uh, actual dye for real fur. Didn't work, didn't take a single ounce of color. So I got synthetic dye and it came out this dark, dark brown that you see here, which was exactly what I wanted. Um, but then along with that, I gave her this harder plastic top because this is connected, this is what's connected to the shoulders. I didn't want to mess up the, uh, the fur, gluing it down and risk ripping off real easily, really easily. Um, her waist was also tricky because I wanted to maintain her articulation, which as you can see here, she still twists in her abs and the belt, and this is all secured to her upper abdomen. So this figure, another reason I like this base figure is it has a lower uh, waist swivel joint and you've got a lot of room to work with in the abdom abdominal area, uh, which I also sculpted, by the way, you can't really see, but there's lines here, detailed lines there, you can see. Um, so I sculpted that. I dremeled down all the details of that Thor figure and re-sculpted flat surfaces. Um, and so, yeah, so she maintains, retains all of her articulation, all of it, nothing, I didn't lose any articulation in the figure. So, you know, her arms and her head, everything it's all it's all there which is great um, that that's pretty much her paints uh, at least for her build paints were um, most all acrylics mostly testers uh, a few Vallejo some of the metallic stuff was turbo dork which I really like um, getting the hang of it's pretty thin stuff so you got to beef it up with some some other solid colors uh, but I like the Turbo dork, Dorks, Dork. I use a little bit of Vallejo, um, a little bit of your Citadel Games Workshops in there. But the majority of what I use is your Testers Model Masters, which unfortunately they don't make anymore. Um, stupid. But different shades of brown, dry brushing on her, stra on her straps that I sculpted here, and her legs, um, the metallics of her head. Uh, her face, I, I also sculpted cheeks, gave her a little, because she's a heavier lady. So the Valkyrie figure is very gaunt and thin in her cheeks. So I gave her a little bit of sculpt right in this area and this area uh, underneath and then painted. And I love how her face turned out, those beautiful eyes. Um, with her eyes, and I, I don't know how close I can get, but it's still focused. Um, but her eyes have a, once I finish painting them, uh, they have like a little little glaze of Liquitex gloss varnish over them. And uh, that gives them a little bit of realism, a little bit of realism. Uh, I matched her face, skin tone to her arms, and I think that's pretty much it. Dry brushing on her, what do you call this, knife sack? I don't know what that's called. Uh, but that, you know, her sword fits right in there pretty securely. And that's it. That's the figure. If I missed anything, mention it in the comments and I'll totally answer it. That's that's Valkyrie. Wow. How great is that? Let's, uh, I'm going to give her some glamour shots over in the photo booth now. So thanks for hanging out to the end of the video. Uh, I'm going to pass it over and back to AC. Take it away. I hope you guys like that. I hope you guys uh, found her interesting. I, I know I do. This was so much fun to work with, work on, you know, getting these soft goods to to actually work with her articulation and, and everything it's it's it was a lot of fun great project um but speaking of i forgot to mention i've got this new mic i don't know hopefully that doesn't blow you out but it was new mic so you guys let me know in the comments again comments uh if it's working if you like it it i've never had a mic i've always used my phone mic and it's always worked now i got a regular mic but it's a lapel mic sorry there's people outside what is that Roller skating, rollerblading, skateboarding, that's what it is. We got birds over here on the TV. Anyway, new mic. What? So let me know if that works, if you like it, if you don't like it. Who knows? Uh, it's, it's professional. So, yeah, Hildegard. Hildegard in the books. 
I want to say thank you very much to my patrons on my Patreon. If you guys want to support this channel uh, directly, you can join my Patreon, which is an awesome, awesome community of collectors and makers and doers and just fun, cool people. Uh, that is patreon.com slash actoydesign. And there you will find my Patreon-exclusive podcast, You Like Toys, where it's a Q&A with the community. I answer all your questions. Doesn't matter what they're about. Pizza, oats, toys, whatever. Uh, so where all my behind-the-scenes tutorial articles so her full article with all of her behind the scenes pictures and the whole process of making her is on my Patreon. Uh, and also something pretty big and important and special. Uh, if you're a member of my Patreon at the $2 level or higher, $2 a month is nothing. It's half a cup of coffee, you know, a month. And most people drink that, what, a cup of coffee a day, two, three, four, seven coffees a day. Come on. Uh, but at that level and up, you get access to my Discord, the AC Toy Design exclusive Discord. And uh, we either are, depending on when you watch this, um, October 1st is gonna be, or was, if you're watching this later, our first Discord uh, live meetup where we're gonna meet on the Discord video channel for an hour and just talk and hang out. And I get to meet a lot of my patrons for the first time uh, visually at least virtually and visually. So that'd be fun. That's something we're going to do at least once a month, hang out and do that. And I also, when I, when I make one of these and finish one of these commissions, um, we also, I'm going to start doing a one-on-one -on -one meeting with, with the uh, client if, if they want. And uh, just talk, talk about it. Talk about the experience. Talk about your new uh, custom figure that I'm going to be sending you. So that's a lot of fun. Join the Patreon. There's a lot of stuff over there. So that's patreon.com slash actoydesign. And I think that's all I got for you. Uh, as usual, the links for everything that I used in this video are below in the uh, description. Uh, like, like, subscribe, and watch some old videos. Join the Patreon. I think that's all I got. Thank you for tuning in. I am AC. This is the galaxy that I live in. Greens, purples, oats, egoons. Love you, buddy. Moji. Right? All right. See you guys. Oh, I just hit the mic, didn't I? Love you guys. Thanks for being here. We'll see you in the next video. Press the button. Bing. Sit, Muji, sit. Good dog. I forgot to do my thumbs up.